What is up everybody and welcome back to Sky Factory 3. My name is Wolfert and as you can see I've done a little bit of work. Just a little bit. Made another layer down beneath us. Moved most of our stuff down there because it was getting a bit crowded up here and disorganized. So, clean it up. Made an area down here. It's all very nice, neat and organized. We have our tables with furnace. Furnace is actually doing stuff for me right now. Uh, I made this colossal chest so we could have like a central storage space for the moment. Uh, I did some, or I moved these guys down here. They have all iron meshes except for this. This still has flint. And I moved these guys over here. Button is here. I also did this stuff. And in order for this to work on this server, it's not configured for the cobblestone generator to be able to push into the basic drawers so what I did was actually made the transfer node from extra utilities and you can put it in a crafting grid with an anvil if I can click right like that and it gives you these ones that are flat these ones if this is that's not quite empty uh, these ones you can actually place between blocks. It's so like here's one here. If I do this, I can do. It. Yeah, so you can place them anywhere on any block or whatever. If you're holding one, you can break them back off. If you press Control, it puts it to push. Whereas normally it's just going to put it to a uh, place. I don't think you actually have to shift. No. So while you're holding this, you actually cannot access inventories and stuff. So it's a little, little bit annoying. But if you use control, you can set it to push. And then you just place your inventory on top of it. Makes it nice and simple. Oh, I'm out of coal. make some uh, some more mini coal for this guy so what I want to do today is actually get us started on producing some things now that's gonna be a combination of all those saplings <laughs> uh, a combination of using uh, the garden cloches from whatever mod that is Is there a way for me to get these? No. And uh, these guys, immersive engineering. I have everything I need to make them, except these. So these treated wood planks. I need, uh, creosote oil. In order to get creosote oil, we gotta put this guy up. So we're gonna put him up right here. I can do things right. And I should have a engineer's hammer over here. Yep, here it is. Engineer's hammer. Boom. Now we got a coke oven. So let's take a little bit of coal and we are going to toss this in there and let it work. So that'll produce creosote oil for us, which means we can now start producing those treated planks, which means we can start producing garden cloches. So another thing that I'm actually going to need, <laughs> this is gonna take a little bit of work for me. I don't know if I have any mushrooms. I don't believe I do. Uh, I did a trade with some of the others, with uh, a couple of guys, and I got, you can guess who, an orange chicken egg. Uh, he gave me some nether quartz and diamond chicken eggs as well. I don't expect to be using those. Because, yeah, I really don't want to overuse the chickens. Otherwise, I'm going to lose all interest again. Uh, 
Uh, let's see. What can we do? How can we get mushrooms? Mushrooms. Do it from that. Sifting sponges. How about these ones? Sponges and loot bags. Well, shoot. So, something that I do need is where are my seeds? Seeds? Bone meal. I don't think I have enough bone meal to do this, but we're going to try. Yeah, I'm out of bone meal already. <laughs> Luckily, the turkey works on them, I think. No? Okay. Uh, I need to make a chicken nest so that I can grow this chicken. These, uh, these eggs. Uh, I'm actually going to take this orange chicken and we're going to convert it into regular eggs. Sorry, orange. Not a fan of the orange chickens. Uh, but the reason why we need the wheat is so that we can produce... I thought I had sorted that. Okay. Uh, let's... Also, this is telling, many, telling me how many slots are being used in here. This thing has like 7,000 7, something slots. Uh, I can actually look in here. Oh, sorry. 1,729 slots. We've used 109. So, we're going to be good for a little while for uh, storage space. How you doing? Why did you stop? Okay, you hadn't stopped. You just paused. Go ahead and take our bucket, and we can move on with this. Grab some planks. I think it'll let me do this. E. Okay, so now we need for the garden close. We need those there. Oh, did it actually make them the treated version of those? That's kind of cool. Uh, we'll toss that in there. We'll sort that. Now we needed... What things were they? A lantern. This iron mechanical component. And I think it was oh. just some glass. If I can put things in the right spots. Mouse, what are you doing? And of course my screen blacks out for me. Okay, we got our garden close. Now how we're gonna use this thing, I'm not too sure yet. I believe that is not the direction I want you facing. That is. Now, it takes power for the light, I think. So we need water, fertilizer amount. What can we use in here? Water, power. So for water, we can make... And once I get this thing set up, I'm probably going to set up a whole bunch of them off camera. Um, let's see. Start getting rid of some of this stuff. Uh, for power, I want to use one of the simple generators. I thought about doing the Sterling generator. It's a little bit more expensive. To, well, it's a little bit cheaper to make, but it's also upgradable later. But then we could also make like the... Uh, these different generators. 
It's like the explosive generator I, I could probably actually make, I think. We'd actually have to make this guy anyways, so. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and just make one of these furnace generators for now. So machine block, four iron, four redstone, and a chest. There is my iron. Chest. Do it this way. And now I need five iron, two redstone, and a furnace. Luckily I have a whole bunch of cobblestone slabs that I can convert back into cobblestone for this. And what was it? Two redstone, five iron. Was there anything? No, that was it. Oh, we have a furnace generator. That'll give us power. I think I can just do it there. I have no idea what the connection ports on this thing are. Uh, I know that's an output. I think that is like a liquid input. For that, we're going to do the sink. No, not that one. This one. Takes uh, five logs, three iron, and a bucket of water. So three iron, and a bucket of water. And it's nice enough that it doesn't take away our bucket because uh, we're going to have to fill this up. So we place it down, put water in it, and now it should be perpetually filling. I have no idea where this thing and takes anything, so we're gonna move everything away for a second. I will find out where stuff goes in off camera <laughs> and then uh, figure it out from there. So, now I should have infinite water in here. Yeah. Okay, that does that. We're gonna put for now, we're going to put some of these in there. Apparently I can actually do that, okay. Can I just do this? No, don't do that. <laughs> okay, don't do that. Uh, let's throw some coal in there. Where's that coal cook? That stuff will generate a, a ton of power for us. one of those in there. It'll generate all the power we need. And yeah, I think I'm at the point that I got to figure out where this thing is going. I will grab a chest to put in front of it for everything that comes out. A uh, chest. So you'll notice I also have the loot bag stuff inside. Wait, what? Put it back in. I have the loot bag stuff in the uh, colossal chest, so I know it'll do that. Okay, now I need to figure out how to move this power. <laughs> I don't have any cables or anything. Uh, if I do like that, it should tell me anything I can use. 
to create a tunnel? Can I use integrated dynamics? No, yeah, that was actually really good and really cheap. Three redstone and six glass. I can make that pretty quick. Let me make some of that. Okay, I have the stuff. Let's go ahead and make these. I don't expect to need a lot of them, because I have no idea how they're going to work. Can I just put power in there? No. That's kind of weird how those break. Okay. Which tells me I probably have to do it in through the top. No? Where the heck does power go in? Okay, that doesn't work. Good, I can vein mine those. Does power go in here? It shows it has power, so apparently that was actually the right spot. I don't know how this thing works. Do I need a lever or something? <laughs> Can I make the immersive engineering book? There's an engineer's manual. Take the lever in a book. I don't think I can make it because I don't have leather. <laughs> no, I cannot make it. Because I don't have anything to make it with. Ah, fun. Let me go figure out how this thing works. Okay, I think I figured it out. So what I did wrong is uh, I didn't give it anything to grow on. <laughs> yeah, there we go. And, ooh, two weed out of that. And I don't think I ever actually have to give it seeds again. It should produce from its own seeds. Cool. So this thing's also producing power off of coal coke. Getting that pretty easy right here. Uh, this will run for a while. Get me enough stuff to get a chicken nest thing going. <laughs> Something. And uh, yeah, that'll... I'll, I'll get this cleaned up at some point. <laughs> I'm probably not going to use these cables for very long. They only transfer 320. But uh, they were good for, uh, good for a start. So, one of the other things I want to look into... I'm going to have to get some mushrooms. <sighs> mushrooms are going to be the bane of our existence because nobody collects them. And, like, I kind of want to do these, get the essence seeds. I could do it. I have the ability. I don't think I have pumpkin seeds, though. Pumpkin seeds. How can I get you? Sifting dirt through a string mesh. Or a flint mesh. Do I have pumpkin seeds? A rice. Pumpkin seeds. 
Grow a couple of pumpkins. I don't have cactus seeds, I don't think. Canola, coffee, flax, barley, and hemp, cotton, carrot, potato, pumpkin. I'm gonna go plant these guys just so they actually look right. <laughs> There's no point in me having them like this. Give me that back. Can I swap you out for a moment? Oh, that's actually kind of cool. <laughs> uh, let's see. I definitely need some more of these. So cactus seeds. Right, you can't actually... What the heck is this? Cellular block. That's a lot of cactus stuff. Cactus fruit trap. Cactus seed. String mesh and flint mesh. Okay, I think that's enough of those. Toss that in there. I don't know that. This thing is actually really nice. Let's uh, get a lot of this out of our inventory. These guys can go in here. And you can go in there. Made up a little extra glass while I was at it. Let's see. Do I have cactus seeds? If not, I have to go make a ton more sand, and I do not. What do I need for dirt essence? Or dirt seeds? Four blocks of dirt. Uh, base seeds. Pretty easy to make. I can make some of those. Should have some prosperity shards. I think I have like nine. Yeah. So grab some seeds. We'll make some of those. And I just realized that I need to make something that I have used every single time. But for some reason have not made this time. Is it two of them? Where is it? Ah, cooking for blockheads. The heck is that? An ore smasher? Okay. Ah, uh, crafting. Crafting table on a stick. I need a sign. That's what I need. Okay, we got a sign. Got a crafting table. Crafting table on a stick. Something very useful. Got two base seeds. Make them both the tier one with the inferium that is down here. That should make me two tier one seeds. And now I just need some dirt. I have two, but I should also have enough Oh, I have a bunch of my inventory. Okay. Where did I put the barrel? One barrel. We'll go ahead and put you down on the ground and you are going to make me some dirt because I need this dirt. <laughs> I 
Meanwhile, this thing is still going insane over here. I'm producing stuff for us. Yeah, look at that. That should be enough to get us our first nest. We can hatch a chicken. And the question is, do I want to, though? Lag much? So this will give us our dirt essence. Uh, it should be this. This. And the other three were dirt. Which I can actually use this for a lot of different things. I actually need that seed. Go ahead and sort that inventory because why not? That should give us our dirt essence seed. Or our dirt seed. Uh, cactus was the other thing we needed. Yeah, we're getting, we're doing good right now. We're like actually moving along, progressing, surprisingly. <laughs> Uh, what did I say I needed for this one? Nature essence. I needed the cactus. Okay, let me see if I can get some cactus seeds and get some of those grown. Meanwhile, I will uh, plant these guys because I have all the wheat I'm going to need. So, yeah. I'll go ahead and take those out of there. So, yeah, let me work on uh, sifting some sand and such, and I will see you guys in just a little bit. I got some. Yes, got my carrot, my carrot, cactus seed. Let's see, that needs, I think, a sand block to grow on. Let's make a sand block. Uh, let's see, do that, and we'll do that. Oh, right, I actually have to do this first. Yeah, go there. <laughs> so that should give me a little bit of cactus. We got our dirt essence. I'll put these seeds over here. Two cactus. I think it just gives us two each time. I'm fine with that. So, nature cluster is one sugar cane, one wheat, one pumpkin, one cactus. I have enough for all of that. Take those. And that. <laughs> Hopefully I remember to cut that, but uh, if not, excuse me. Uh, <laughs> let's see, we got our stuff to make it. Tier one seed, essence. Nature seeds. Would you look at that? Put the dirt back in there. Nature seeds. So now we can use that to get our mushrooms. Let's go ahead and toss like all this other stuff in here that we don't need at the moment. What am I going to do with all this? I can craft one gold, one copper, one iron. 
I think what I might do is, uh, now whenever I actually do some sifting, I will stash the spare stock. There. I mean, I've been just throwing it off the edge, and then that's just kind of a waste of resources. I'll toss that stuff in there. Also, we've upgraded our food source. We are now eating applesauce. Oh, that thing's stuck. That one stopped because it's full of creosote. Okay, we got a little bit of this. And this means, I believe it was this, 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 mushrooms. And what is the other mushroom? It's like that. Boom. We've got mushrooms. This thing is actually coming in very handy. What else can I use these for? I can make grass. Mycelium. Mycelium is actually one of the reasons I need this. <laughs> so I might as well just make some of that. See if I remember what it was. That? Yes. Okay, so with this, I need that barrel back. And now I will do like just right here. I'm not worried about losing this stuff because now I can make it. So uh, let's go with uh, regular dirt in the middle barrel. I used our bucket. So we'll grab this one since it already has water in it, and we'll do that. Yep, transforming. Slow transformation to witch water. Ah. We're getting things done. Now, if I make a little more sand. Uh, let's go ahead and... I don't want to place those down just yet. I want to make some place where I can put the animals and stuff that we are going to end up getting... Because I don't want them kind of roaming around our main yeah, our main building. I will also mention to you guys, I came up with a concept for what we're going to be building. This will go away. Well, I might I might keep it for now, but we're gonna what we're gonna be building. There's not gonna be bridges like this. We are going to build be building essentially like floating towers in the sky. So. Our main structure, how we have this two-layer thing, there's going to be more layers added to it. We will build one large, very large structure kind of off to the side for, like, tree farming, animal farming, mobs, if we get to that point. And, well, hello, mushrooms. <laughs> I guess I didn't need to make the mushrooms. Uh, what was I doing here? Sand. So I do need some sand. Which we're going to use this to convert into soul sand. This will be a little bit slow, but doable. And then we're going to use this soul sand, I believe. I'm going to have to do a lot of it, though. To make... The soul sand is going to be used to make a soul stone. Which is soul stone I can be I can use to make like if I smelt it I get soul dust. The soul dust I can use to get solium dust. Which I can then make solium ingots to make a solium ingot block to make a seed reprocessor. The seed reprocessor is gonna take all of the extra seeds and such that we get from here that we don't need and process them into more essence. It's like, if I actually show it here, uh, seed pre reprocessor just gives me essence from the seeds. Gives me extra essence. Which I think is a good idea. 
I'm going to have to see I might be able to use these to be able to organize that so that it will automatically send any seed I get from here straight to the seed reprocessor and if it can't go there it'll go straight to other storage. Uh, these are going to get like an entire floor in our base so. Uh, I haven't decided exactly how big I want to do it. And I haven't decided on a layout. I'm thinking about circles. But circles don't work very well when you have things like this that have to face a di certain direction. So, uh, we'll see. As for now, it's going to be a short episode today. That's going to be it for this time, guys. If you liked it, the like button below. If not, let me really know what you don't like in the comments. Doesn't look like we got much done, but this is a huge, huge step towards automating everything. So, like I said, that's it for this time. I will see you guys next time.